Hello children and welcome to your channel Sharda Educare and in today's video we will be learning examples which are based on Apollonius theorem and that is from the practice set of 2.2 standard 10th. Let's begin children. The first sum says in triangle PQR point S is the midpoint. So we will make a triangle. If PQ is 11 so let us join PS. If S is the midpoint children, then QS will be equal to SR. And if midpoint is given, then in the before video, before this we have done the video number uh, 7. In video number 7 we have done Apollonius theorem. So we will be applying the Apollonius theorem because midpoint is given median is given so median we can make use in Apollonius theorem so here PQ is given 11 PR is given 17 PS is given 13 and we need to find out QR this is what we need to find out so we will be using Apollonius theorem here children so by Apollonius theorem. Now why can we use Apollonius theorem? Because PS is median. Yes, since PS is median we can use Apollonius theorem. And what does Apollonius theorem says? PQ square plus PR square is equal to 2 time PS square plus 2 times either QS or either SR. Let's use it. So, PQ square plus PR square is equal to 2 times PS square plus 2 times you can take QS or you can take SR. So, let me take SR the square. Now, how much is PQ? PQ is 11 square plus PR square. PR is how much? 17 square is equal to 2 into PS square. PS is 13 square plus, put the bracket here, 2 into SR. We don't know SR, so we will keep SR as it is. So, 11 square is 121 plus 17 square is 289 children and 2 into 13 square is 169 plus 2 into s r the square 121 289 121 289 if we add 9 plus 1 10 carry 1 10 11 carry 1 that would be 2 3 4 410 is equal to multiply 169 by 2. When I multiply 169 this by 2, I get 2 9s are 18, carry 1 2 6 are 12 plus 1, 13, carry 1 2 1s are 2 plus 3. So that would be 338 plus 2 into SR square. Now shift this number here. 410 minus 338 is equal to 2 into SR square. When I subtract it from 410, if I subtract 338, what would I get? 410. 0 minus 8 cannot be done, cannot be. So I will carry 1 from here. It will be 10 and here it will be 0. 10 minus 8 will be 2. 0 minus 3 is not possible. Therefore, I will take 1 from here. And here there will be 3. 10 minus 3 is 7. 3 minus 3 is 0. So, left is 72 which is equal to 2 into SR square. Now, what will happen children? This 2 is going to come down. So, 72 upon 2 which is equal to 
एस आर स्क्वेर बाय डिवाइडिंग टू वन जा टू थ्री जा टू सिक्स जा सो वी गेट हियर थर्टी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू एस आर स्क्वेर नाउ एस आर इज इक्वल टू अंडर द रूट थर्टी सिक्स वेन वी रिमूव स्क्वेर दिस साइड वी हैव टू प्लेस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द अदर साइड सो वी विल बी गेटिंग सिक्स इंटू सिक्स इन साइड द रूट विच इज इक्वल टू एस आर टू टाइम सिक्स इज इन द रूट दे फोर इट कैन बी टेकन आउट सो सिक्स इज इक्वल टू एस आर वी गॉट एस आर एस सिक्स बट वी नो दैट क्यू एस इज इक्वल टू एस आर वाई बिकॉज एस इज मिड पॉइंट ऑफ क्यू आर मिड पॉइंट ऑफ क्यू आर ऑफ क्यू आर सो इवन क्यू एस विल बी सिक्स सो टू फाइंड क्यू आर बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन से इज फाइंड क्यू आर सो क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू क्यू एस प्लस एस आर विच विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स प्लस सिक्स दैट इज ट्वेल्व सो वी गॉट क्यू आर एस ट्वेल्व यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो एंड यू कैन सॉल्व द सम चिल्ड्रन Let's move to the second question, children. In triangle ABC, let us take triangle ABC. AB is ten. In triangle ABC, this A, this B, and this C. It is given AB is ten, AC is seven, and BC is nine. BC is nine. And from the point, find the length of the median. now the length of the median we need to find out and that is drawn from the point c this is your point c this is your point c and from point c we have to draw median to point line ab to side ab this is your ab that means this part of the line ab is equal to this part let us take this as d so dc is the median consider dc as median we need to find out the length of median as again there is a median and we need to find out the length of the median we will be using apollonius theorem so therefore by apollonius theorem why apollonius theorem can be used because d is median given and we can use apollonius theorem to find the length of median so what does apollonius theorem says here ac square plus bc square ac square plus bc square is equal to ad 2 time ad square plus 2 time dc square twice the square of the median now what is ac ac is given as 7 square bc is given as 9 square and 2 time ad now ad is not given we need to find out ad we'll keep at it as it is but we know AB is equal to ten. See, children, here it is given. AB is equal to ten, and AD plus DB is equal to AB, and AB value is given as ten. So, ten AD and DB both are equal. so you can write in place of db as ad only ad plus ad so it will be 2 time ad which is equal to 10 so ad is equal to 10 upon 2 so 2 fives are so ad is equal to 5 as entire length of entire length of side ab is 10 
and uh, d is the midpoint, so this will be phi, this will be phi. This one will be phi and this one will be phi unit. So let's use that here. Plus, yes, we can use 2 times 5 square plus 2 times dc square. dc we need to find out. dc is the median. 7 square is 49 plus 9 square is 81 plus 2 into 5 square is 25 plus 2 into dc square. Now 49 plus 81, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry 1, 9 plus 4 is 13, that is 130, which is equal to 25 twos are 50 plus 2 into dc square. So 130 minus 50, which is equal to 2 times dc square. 130 minus 50 will be 80. So 80 is equal to twice dc square, but 2 will come down because 2 is up, so it will be coming down here and we will be getting 80 upon 2 which is equal to dc square. Divide it, it will be 40. So dc square is equal to 40. Now in the second case, dc square is there. If, if we remove the square, we, you will have to place the square root on the other side, 40. So dc can be written as under the root 4 into 10. Square root of 4 will be 2, but 10 will remain inside. So dc value is 2 root 10. So we got the median length, that is 2 root 10. Let's write it here. The median length is 2 root 10. You can pause the video children and you can solve this. Question number 3. There is a figure I have already drawn of triangle PQR where PS is the median of the triangle PQR. And what we need to prove? And it is given that PT is perpendicular to QR. This is median. I am writing this line is median. PT is given perpendicular to QR. We have to prove PR square is equal to PS square plus QR into ST plus QR upon 2 the whole square. QR upon 2 the whole square. See from the question only children we should be trying to get the answer what we want PR square. Now PR square where we can get? PR is here and if we say square it is and there is also 90 degree mentioned. So I will be taking PTR triangle. Okay. So in triangle PTR angle T is equal to 90 degree and this is given children. Why it is given? Because PT is perpendicular to QR. We can just write down given also. So I can use Pythagoras theorem here by Pythagoras theorem. What will I get by using Pythagoras? Pythagoras theorem in PTR. PT square plus TR square is equal to PR square. I wanted PR square and I got it. But I also want PS square. So PS square again if you see it is coming in the triangle PTS and PTS is a right angle triangle. And I can easily get PS square by using Pythagoras theorem in PTS. So let's use in triangle 
PTS. PT square plus TS square is equal to PS square. Now in triangle PTS, why did I use this? Again by Pythagoras theorem. I need to write actually by Pythagoras theorem again. And what says that I can use Pythagoras theorem? Because angle T is equal to 90 degree. Okay. So, now I got PT square plus TS square is equal to PS square. Now, what I will get in this TR square. Let us see TR. What is TR? In the same equation, in equation 1, I will be writing PT square plus TR. TR is equal to what? TS plus SR. TS plus SR. The whole square. See. TR is equal to TS plus SR. So, TS plus SR the whole square which is equal to PR square. Keep this as it is. We will be making use of it further. Now, PT square plus A plus B the whole square. Children, we know A plus B the whole square is what? A square plus 2AB plus B square. Now, which is A here? This is A and this is B. So, A square means what square? TS square plus 2 into A means again TS, B means SR plus SR the square which is equal to PR square. Clear? We got PT square plus TS square plus 2 TS SR plus SR square is equal to PR square. Question number 3, there is a figure I have already drawn of triangle PQR where PS is the median of the triangle PQR and what we need to prove and it is given that PT is perpendicular to QR. This is median, I am writing this line is median. PT is given perpendicular to QR. We have to prove PR square is equal to PS square plus QR into ST plus QR upon 2 the whole square. QR upon 2 the whole square. See from the question only children we should be trying to get the answer what we want PR square. Now PR square where we can get? PR is here and if we say square it is and there is also 90 degree mentioned. So I will be taking PTR triangle. Okay. So in triangle PTR angle T is equal to 90 degree and this is given children. Why it is given? Because PT is perpendicular to QR. We can just write down given also. So I can use Pythagoras theorem here by Pythagoras theorem. What will I get by using Pythagoras? Pythagoras theorem in PTR. PT square plus TR square is equal to PR square. I wanted PR square and I got it. But I also want PS square. So PS square again if you see it is coming in the triangle PTS. 
and PTS is a right angle triangle and I can easily get PS square by using Pythagoras theorem in PTS. So, let us use in triangle PTS. PT square plus TS square is equal to PS square. Now in triangle PTS, why did I use this? Again by Pythagoras theorem. I need to write actually by Pythagoras theorem again. And what says that I can use Pythagoras theorem? Because angle T is equal to 90 degree. Okay. So, now I got PT square plus TS square is equal to PS square. Now what I will get in this TR square. Let us see TR. What is TR? In the same equation, in equation 1, I will be writing PT square plus TR. TR is equal to what? TS plus SR. TS plus SR. The whole square. See. TR is equal to TS plus SR. So, TS plus SR the whole square which is equal to PR square. Keep this as it is. We will be making use of it further. Now, PT square plus A plus B the whole square. Children, we know A plus B the whole square is what? A square plus 2AB plus B square. Now, which is A here? This is A and this is B. So, A square means what square? TS square plus 2 into A means again TS, B means SR plus SR the square which is equal to PR square. Clear? Now see PT square plus we got PT square plus TS square. Let me remove this. We do not want that. We got PT square plus TS square plus 2 TS SR plus SR square is equal to PR square. Now here what we will do, we will shift TS this side and we will find the value of PT because already we have here PT, fine in this case. So PT square is equal to, PT square is equal to PS square minus TS I shift there, it will be TS square. I have PT square here in this case and PT square value is PS minus TS. So, let me place that value here. What will I get? I will get in place of PT, I am pla placing the value of PT square. So, PS square plus TS square, PT value is what? PS square plus, sorry, minus minus T S square. This is the value of P T square and we have here T S already plus T S square plus 2 time S T into S R. Now, if you go to see S R, I want here S T, I got S T here. See S T I got, but I do not want with S T. SR. See here with ST there is SR which I do not want. See again P 
pt value is what pt square value is ps square minus ts square pt value is ts ps square minus ts square this is the ts square already which is there two time ts or st is same sr is there but i don't want this sr why with st i want qr you can see in the question with st i want qr and how can i get with st qr SR is there here. SR if you go to see, SR is half of QR. SR is half of QR. So let us write that in place of SR here, this. In place of SR here, I will be writing QR upon 2 because SR is half of QR and why SR is half of QR because S is the median S is the midpoint S is midpoint given already therefore we can take here in place of SR QR upon 2 plus what after that again QR upon 2 the whole square is there and we have already got SR square. So in place of SR here again, I can write QR upon 2, QR upon 2 the whole square which is square here already and that is equal to that is equal to PR square. Now let us see what I can cancel here minus T S square plus T S square I can easily cancel 2 and 2 I can easily cancel clear now what is left with us the left is P R square yes we got P R square which is equal to P S square so where is P S square yes P S square we got so I can write here P R square which is equal to P R square we got which is equal to what P S square P S square then this is cancelled this is cancelled S T into Q R plus S T into Q R plus Q R upon 2 the whole square. Hence proved the first statement. Now the second statement PQ square is equal to PS square. PQ square, where we are getting PQ square children? Yes, this is PQ and it corresponds to this 90 degree. So in triangle PTQ I can take. Yes, I want PQ square. So in triangle PTQ I can take. So in triangle P T Q by which theorem by Pythagoras theorem and why because angle T is equal to 90 degree. So by Pythagoras theorem I will get P Q square is equal to P T plus T Q P T square plus T Q square what else I want I want P A square ok children. P A square again how do I get again in triangle PTS previously we have done for proving the first statement. So I can take this side here so that we get enough place in triangle PTS angle T is already 90 degree. So by Pythagoras theorem P S square is equal to P T plus T S square. P T square plus P S square ok. I want P S square, P S square I got ok. So P T square plus T S square. Now look at this P Q square is equal to P T square plus Q T. Now Q T is what out of Q S is equal to S R and I want here Q R. So QS is equal to SR, 
qs is equal to sr why qs is equal to sr in the first statement i have proved i have showed you because s is given median s is median already and therefore qs is equal to sr so if qs is equal to sr and i'm getting qt something which is there with qs to do so why not i convert this qt in terms of qs now i'll be taking pt value because i have got here pt ps square i'll shift this number here ts square here minus ts square is equal to pt square and place the value of pt square in this placing value of pt square in equation 1 what do i get i get pq square is equal to ps minus ts square ps square minus ts square plus tq square tq square and tq is equal to what qs minus st yes so i can use that here but tq is equal to qs minus st and here i can then eliminate st also if i use this so what will i get pq square is equal to ps square minus ts square plus tq is what tq is equal to qs minus st i'll write here qs minus st the whole square we are using this tq is equal to qs minus st now this is in the form of a minus b the whole square and we know a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square and what is a here a means qs so a square means qs square let me write it here is equal to ps square minus ts square plus a minus b the whole square that is qs minus st the whole square so a square a square means qs square minus 2 into a means qs into b means ts plus st the square now what i can eliminate children here c minus t a square and plus t a square s t square and t a square is same only so minus t a square and plus s t square can be eliminated because one is minus and one is plus this and this will get cancelled so what is left with us left is what p q square yes i wanted p q square is equal to p s square i got p s square yes then after that minus plus q r square q s square okay what is q s q s is equal to s r q s is equal to s r and in the first statement to prove we have used s r is equal to half of q r do i want q r yes i want q r so in place of q s which is already there here i can use q r upon 2 because let me use it here well, let me write it here see q s plus s r is equal to q r but both are equal so i can say in place of s r i can write down q s only q s plus q s is equal to q r so 2 time q s is equal to q r so qs2 will shift down 
so q s will be equal to q r upon 2 and this value I did placing here q s is equal to q r upon 2. So, plus q r upon 2 the whole square minus 2 into q s again q s is what q r upon 2 and this 2 and 2 will get cancelled into st that is ts that is all. Now, what we are left with pq square is equal to ps square minus qr into st qr into st then plus qr upon 2 the whole square and this is which what we wanted qr upon 2 the whole square. So, you can pause the video children and you can solve this sum. Question number 4 children you can see triangle ABC one triangle I have drawn here we will label it later on first let me finish drawing triangle ABC point M is the midpoint of side BC. So, it is given a b square plus a c square is equal to 290 centimeter square a m is given a m that is 8 centimeter a m is 8 centimeter let us as it is a median we can use here Apollonius theorem because already they have given a b square plus a c square a b square plus a c square. If a b square plus a c square is there we can use Apollonius theorem therefore, by Apollonius theorem by Apollonius and I U S theorem and why we can use Apollonius theorem because a m is median given it is a median given ok. Now, what is Apollonius theorem in this triangle a b square plus a c square a b square plus a c square is equal to 2 time median square that is a m square plus 2 time any one of the side that is m c square. Now, it is already given a b plus a c is 290 a b square plus a c square is equal to 290 which is given already centimeter square which is equal to 2 time a m we have to find a m is already given 8 square 8 to so a m square is 8 square plus 2 time m c square and we need to find out b c once we get m c we will double it and we can get b c. So, 290 is equal to 2 into 8 square that is 64 plus 2 m c square multiply 2 into 64 2 fours are 8 2 8 2 six are 12 that is 128 plus 2 m c square. Now, I will be shifting 128 this side what will I get? 290 minus 128 is equal to 2 time m c square. Now, when 290 minus 128 I will do 290 minus 128 10 minus 8 2 because 1 I will carry from here here will be 8 8 minus 2 is 6 and 2 minus 1 will be 1 that will be 162 which is equal to 2 time m c square. Now, 2 will come down here children 2 is going to come down here and will divide 162 what it will be it will be 162 upon 2 is equal to m c square 2 1s are 2 8s are 16 2 1s are so, we got 81 is equal to m c square. When I remove the square on the other side, I will get if I am adding m c square and this is 81, 
and if I remove the square I can put here the square root so mc is equal to 9 because square root of 81 is 9 so we got mc as 9 and we know children here that bm is equal to mc why bm is equal to mc because m is midpoint okay so bm is equal to mc is equal to 9 children and we know bc is equal to bm plus mc and how much is bm 9 plus mc is also 9 9 plus 9 is 18 so bc is equal to 18 you can pause the video children and you can solve the sum children now we are on fifth sum of our exercise 2.2 which is the last sum of our exercise 2.2 of pythagoras chapter you can see here children uh, there is one figure of a rectangle pqrs a parallelogram we can say t is in the interior of the rectangle pqrs means t is somewhere inside okay in triangle in X, uh, rectangle or uh, parallelogram pqrs and we have to prove that ts square is equal plus tq square so and it is given ab is parallel to sr ab is a parallel to sr in such a way it is atb ab is parallel to sr so t is somewhere on ab so let me draw one line here i hope you understand this it is given ab line ab is parallel to sr so sr is here so line ab will be somewhere here and point t is what in the interior of the parallelogram okay so let's they are in one line ts square so i need to draw this line it is very easy some children it appears very tough but it is going to be very easy we will do it very nicely let's begin children so we want ts square and it is not mentioned that a is a midpoint of PS it is not mentioned so we cannot consider A as midpoint or B as midpoint of QR but we know that AB is parallel to SR given it is a parallelogram PQRS is a parallelogram okay and it is given AB is parallel to SR so if it is a parallelogram rectangle it is given rectangle rectangle PQRS is a rectangle see rectangle means opposite sides are parallel to one another so let me begin with the what is given first thing p q r s is a rectangle and how do i know it's a rectangle because it is given it's a rectangle if it is a rectangle the opposite sides are going to be equal and opposite sides are going to be parallel so i can say pq is parallel to sr opposite sides are parallel and what else is given now see PQ is parallel to SR and it is given AB is also parallel to SR. AB is parallel to SR and what is this? This is given. Okay, now you will consider this point. PQ is parallel to SR, AB is also parallel to SR. So can I say that AB is parallel to PQ. This is point 1, this is point 2, this is point 3 and this is point 4. 
so how did i get from 2 and 3 i got ab as parallel to sr chetra now if ab is parallel to sr i can say ab rs is a rectangle let us first consider this point pqrs is a rectangle if pqrs is a rectangle fifth point angle p is equal to angle q is equal to angle s is equal to angle r is going to be 90 degree each angle of a rectangle is 90 degree so i can say that this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree and this angle is also 90 degree in a rectangle each angle is 90 degree okay and now what we proved we proved that in a rectangle each angle is 90 degree and opposite sides are parallel and what we got here this is 90 degree we got ab is parallel to sr what we got ab is parallel to sr so if ab is parallel to sr and as is a transversal then this angle plus this angle will be 180 degree so i can say in sixth point angle s plus angle a is going to be 180 degree why it is going to be 180 degree because this line is parallel to this line if the lines are parallel and one of the angle is 90 degree then definitely other angle will be 90 degree so this come out to be a rectangle so if angle s is 90 degree and why can i why why, why can i take angle s plus angle a is 180 degree because ab is parallel to sr sum of the sum of the angles between the two parallel line is 180 degree sum of the angles between the two parallel line is 180 degree i'll show you here if this line is parallel to this line and if this is a transversal and one of the angle is given 90 degree line l is parallel to line m and one of the angle is given 90 degree so what happen interior angle this angle plus this angle will be add up to 180 degree so if this is 90 definitely this angle will be 90 degree okay the same it is here ab is parallel to sr therefore this angle plus this angle is going to be 180 degree already this is 90 so next angle will be also 90 degree so plus angle a which is equal to 180 so angle a is going to be 180 minus 90 which is equal to 90 degree so we got angle a as 90 degree similarly angle b also will be 90 degree in the same fashion similarly angle b also will be 90 degree therefore what we come to the conclusion we come to the conclusion that ab sr or ab rs is a rectangle so therefore quadrilateral ab rs is a rectangle and why it is a rectangle because each angle we proved equal to 90 degree if it is a rectangle opposite sides are parallel as well as they are equal it's a rectangle so we can easily say that as is equal to br is equal to uh, ab is equal to sr now why opposite sides of rectangle opposite sides of a rectangle are equal so we have proved that as is equal to br and if this is 90 degree children this also will be 90 degree 
दिस ऑल्सो विल बी नाइन्टी डिग्री तो वी कैन ऑल्सो से पी क्यू बी ए इज ऑल्सो अ रेक्टेंगल यस सो वी कैन से हियर क्वाड्रिलेट्रल पी क्यू बी ए इज ऑल्सो रेक्टेंगल इज ऑल्सो रेक्टेंगल and why it is a rectangle because angle p is 90 q is 90 b is 90 a is also 90 so we can say that ap is equal to qb opposite side of a rectangle pq is equal to ab so again i can write here opposite sides of rectangle okay so we have proved that ap is equal to qp and this is equal to this this is equal to this fine now what we want to prove first this was very important then we can start our proof proof will be yes. in triangle a t s angle t is equal to 90 degree and how did you how do we know that angle t is equal to 90 degree because here we have got angle t as 90 degree because we proved it as as a rectangle ab rs is a rectangle so each angle will be 90 degree okay so we should write t is equal to 90 degree as ab rs is a rectangle ab rs is a rectangle we proved it and therefore we can take it now by 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 pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem what it will be it will be t s square is equal to at square plus as square this is your pythagoras theorem t s square is equal to at square plus a square now we got t s square we wanted t s square but what else is there t q square where do we get t q t q we will get here this is t q which is corresponding to this triangle and this is a right angle triangle okay so again we can do this is one and we can take in triangle now in triangle tqb or tbq angle b is equal to 90 degree and why angle b is 90 degree we have proved abqp is a rectangle yes pqab is a rectangle if we label it this is a uh, sixth and this is seventh this is eighth then this is ninth okay we can write here from nine if you don't want very clumsy you will just write from nine or you can say that abqp is a rectangle okay once we got it as a 90 degree i can use pythagoras theorem so by pythagoras theorem again by pythagoras theorem what do we get by pythagoras theorem tq square is equal to tb square plus bq square tb square plus bq square now children see this is my second statement and i want tq square plus ts square so why not i add 1 and 2 1 and 2 i'll get ts square plus tq see here ts square plus tq so i'm doing ts square plus tq square is equal to at plus as is equal to plus tb plus bq so 
a t square plus a s square plus t b square plus b q square. This is my, let me take it as third statement, okay. This is my third statement, fine. Now I wanted T s plus T q, I got T s plus T q. I want T p plus T r. The same procedure we will be performing for T p plus T r. By before I rub this, you can note it down by pausing the video. eraser se mere ko itna rub karna padega. Ye wala na? Aur ye rub karo. Wo to ho gaya na? Rectangle. Sir. Huh? Point six is the point six. 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 Point now children we want tp square now how do i get tp tp i am getting here so in triangle pat again this angle is 90 degree angle a is 90 degree we have got it because pqba is a rectangle or we can say from 9 from 9 so by Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem you need to write all these children because to get marks otherwise you won't get mark if you do not mention by which theorem you are using it by Pythagoras theorem we will get pt square this is the hypotenuse so pt square is equal to pa square plus at square pa square plus at square i wanted pt square i got okay this is my fourth statement now i want tr square tr where do i get tr i get here okay so in triangle let me write it here in triangle T R B angle B is 90 degree and why angle B is 90 degree because we have already proved A B R S is a rectangle okay we have already done it A B R S is a rectangle or we can just write here A B R S is a rectangle no matter if you write it okay now in this by which theorem again again by pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem what do i get i get tr square is equal to tb square plus br square now what I want, this is my fourth statement and this will be my fifth statement. What I want, I want PT plus TR. PT already is there, TP. Let us take it as TP because in the proof it is TP. TP, this one, TP, okay. So I will be adding fourth and fifth by adding fourth and fifth what do i get by adding fourth and fifth i'll be getting tp square plus p 
बी आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टी पी वैल्यू इज वॉट पी ए प्लस ए टी पी ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए टी स्क्वायर प्लस टी बी स्क्वायर प्लस बी आर स्क्वायर नाउ दिस स्टेटमेंट वुड बी दिस इज फिफ्थ लेट मी टेक दिस स्टेटमेंट एज इन येलो बॉक्स now we will be comparing yellow box and yellow box this is yellow box and this is also yellow box okay now see this is tp square plus tr and this is ts square plus tq let's see at we are having this is my at this is at okay this is at then we have as over there where is as okay as and as is definitely equal to br we know is it br here yes br so we can say br is equal to br is equal to what as as see this yellow at and at is there but br is also equal to as br is equal to as because they are the opposite sides of rectangle they are equal so these four things two pairs we have proved equal fine now what is left pa green underlined which is equal to bq square so pa is here is equal to what bq square correct now here at and at both are yellow as is pink underlined br is also pink underlined so as is equal to br and tb is here also and tb is there also that means this part is equal to exactly this part so if this whole part is equal to this whole part so can we say that this one will be equal to this one yes of course we can say so from third and from sixth this is your sixth okay sixth statement so we can say tp square plus pr square is equal to ts square plus T Q square, and from where we got it? From third statement, and from sixth statement. This is your sixth, na? Hence, proved that T S square plus T Q is equal to T P square plus T R square. So, children, we are done with two point two exercise of Pythagoras theorem of standard tenth. so like my video you can pause the video and you can copy the sum like my videos share my video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed thank you children for watching the video